So today we are in a forest in Latvia and as you can see it's covered with snow. It's January. Pretty chilly. And I thought I would do um, this today because it's one of the few sunny days and also it's that we just had all this nice fresh snow. So here we go. Today's question is, how can I understand oneness? It's impossible to understand oneness. We can feel it, we can experience it, but it's impossible to understand it. I'll give you an example. Intellectually understanding oneness is like a one-dimensional drawing, like a stick figure. This is about as much as I can draw. Trying to understand the artist that drew it. So the artist is three-dimensional, the stick figure is one-dimensional. There's no way for that stick figure to understand the artist. If it was self-aware in a way, it could try. It could intellectually understand in a one-dimensional way. It could even maybe conceive that there's an artist that drew it, but understanding that artist is absolutely impossible. Also, the reality is that there is only one mind. There is one creator and there is only one life. So everything we are perceiving everywhere, right here, right now, where you are, where I am, it's actually all one place. It's one being, it's one mind, it's one creator creating all of this. It's one creator perceiving all of this right this moment. It's one creator being all of this right this moment. There is no me, there is no you. We may use those terms to, 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 for conceptual purposes to communicate. But the reality is that the one who's speaking right now is the same one who's hearing and the same one who's listening because there is only one mind. That mind is being you, it's being me, it's being all that exists right this moment. That oneness, that being is infinite, it is immortal, it is omniscient, it is beyond any concept of time and space. And in that one mind, in that oneness, there is no separation at all. Contemplate that for a few minutes. So now I'm at the beach and it's, <laughs> as you can see, it's, it's really chilly, so, um, but I wanted to use this, this place, I wanted to use this place as an example of, um, uh, for the next uh, uh, metaphor. So, imagine that you're a drop of water. All your life as a drop, you've thought of yourself as a single, unique, um, separate drop. And you've gone about your existence as a separate drop. And then you come upon this sea, this infinite sea, no beginning, no end. And you drop into it. What happens? Well, of course, you, you as a drop cease to exist. You are the sea. There's no separation. You are the infinite sea. That's exactly 
what this is like to experience oneness. You no longer identify as a human being, as a separate, unique soul, as a separate, unique individual personality. You experience yourself as the entirety of awareness, the entirety of consciousness, the entirety of the mind of the divine, the mind of the creator. Let's try another example while we're sitting here in the freezing wind. Um, so you're looking at this video and hearing me either on a, a some kind of device screen. The entire scene you see right now is all one scene. It's lit up by some kind of lights, usually LEDs. But it's all one screen. The snow behind me, the sky, the sea behind me. It's all one scene. There's no separation. It's the same. Same metaphor. There's only one scene. There's only one mind. It's all one picture. The entire universe is one picture. It's one humongous, gigantic, infinite picture. It's one hologram. Just one. There's nothing outside of the hologram. Nothing. There's nothing outside of the mind of the Creator. There's nothing outside of consciousness. It's all within consciousness. When you get a chance, meditate on that. When you're walking around next time, or sitting wherever you are, or whatever you're doing, contemplate that. That everything perceived is within consciousness. It is not your consciousness. Because the minute you think of it as yours, you're identifying as something separate. You're identifying as a me. There's only one consciousness, one awareness. And so, of course, I'm also often asked, well, how do I experience this oneness? How do I experience this, this, this awareness? How do I understand it? Well, like I said before, there's no way to understand oneness. There's only to experience it. And the only way to experience it is like the drop to dissolve, to surrender, to give up that sense of me that sense of personal identity, to just dissolve into the infinite sea, to dissolve into infinite mind, into emptiness, into nothingness, until there's nothing left of you. If you practice that enough, you'll be able to do that with just a simple deep breath, and you're there. You're there where you always have been. That's how this works. To experience that takes a great deal of courage, as I've said before. It takes, I'll put this in quotes, even though I'm not gonna lift my fingers up because it's too cold. Um, it takes um, practice, it takes commitment, but most importantly, it takes the willingness to surrender the willingness to give up everything, the willingness to jump in into that sea, to dive in, to dissolve without knowing what's going to happen. It is, it is amazing here, and I hope one day you get to experience this, you know, walking on a, on a beach in the winter along the Baltic Sea or some other frozen place. But for now, it's time to start walking back and um, getting back into the warm, warm car. So for now, um, take good care, and I will look forward to speaking with you again soon. And also remember, there's, um, there's a lot of material at lifesansers.org, so you're welcome to go there, study, learn, try some of the meditations. I'm always uploading new new content there. Um, of course, you know, I'll keep posting the videos. 
So I look forward to talking with you. And again, if you have any questions or need any support, just contact me. Bye for now. Take care.